Hey everyone, welcome to the College Express YouTube channel. My name is Ananya and I'm a junior in high school studying in Virginia. And today I'm going to be making a video for you guys on test taking skills. So let's get right into it. Now there are three important types of tests that you guys are going to be encountering throughout your uh, time studying in school. And those include essays, which require you to you know, dive into one particular subject with several sentences or paragraphs. And next is multiple choice, which we see commonly on big tests like our ACT and the SAT. And the next is math questions that require you to analyze and um, evaluate complex equations and expressions. Now there are different types of tests, but generally they will fall into one of the three categories that we just mentioned. Now first up, we have essays. The big thing about essays is to keep it concise and to keep it straight to the point. So you're going to achieve that best by reading the question and making sure you underline the most important parts of that question to come up with a central idea that you're going to base your thesis off of. So your thesis needs to directly answer the essay prompt. And once you know what your thesis is, you essentially have your game plan for the entire essay. So using your thesis and your main points included in your thesis, you're gonna follow the format of an intro, body, and conclusion essay. And you're gonna create an outline that supports all of your claims within those body paragraphs and include a very strong intro that hooks your reader in and a conclusion that pretty much sums everything up and also explains the importance of that essay. Within your body paragraphs, you're gonna make sure that you have a strong intro and conclusion sentence within the body paragraphs themselves. And don't forget to organize your essay in order of uh, time, so it can be chronological order, or perhaps in the order of importance. Just make sure that you are creating a cohesive essay that is easy to read and straight to the point. So the second big type of test is the multiple choice. Once you read the multiple choice question, anticipate your answer. Just have an idea in mind of what you think the answer is before you even skim through the, um, the answer choices. Because once you know what it is, it's easy to just find the right one, circle it, and just move on to the next question. Next, while you might already know what the answer is, consider every answer that they give you on that test sheet. If you don't know what is right, then eliminate what you know is wrong. And remember that uh, most tests don't penalize you for getting answers wrong. Um, so take the chance and just fill out all the answers. And the third biggest group of questions that we are faced with is math problems. Now math problems are easily dealt with when you can convert the mathematical expression into you know, an English statement. Keep track of those keywords. You can determine exactly what you need to find out when you're evaluating the problem. So if it's asking for something like temperature or speed or distance, keep that in mind as you work through the problem to make sure that your final result can correspond to what you are looking for. When you have really large problems like in calculus or in uh, different types of trig or geometry, it will help for you to create a game plan. And with problems that I mentioned like in geometry and trig, it will really help if you draw out the shapes on your paper to be able to visualize what you're working with. And when you're working through the problem, kind of estimate and guess what the answer might be. And once you're done with your math problems, if it's not time, then if you have a little bit of um, extra time at the end, it will really help if you can plug in your answer directly into the problem itself and just to double check that your answer is right. So now that we've covered the three main types of testing, we are going to dive into our study strategy. So the biggest strategy that I wanna share with you guys today is one that we all already know. You're not gonna feel the most confident when taking a test when you only study the night before, where it's very hard to recall information the day after because all of that information is stored in the short-term memory part of our brains. So the goal of studying for tests is to create more neuroplasticity. Essentially neuroplasticity, plas if I can say it correctly, neuroplasticity is the formation of new neural connections and the strengthening of old ones. And you might be wondering, how do I strengthen that neuroplasticity? You can help your neuroplasticity by consistently studying for short bursts over a long period of time. 
using methods that will help you recall information like drawing out concepts or using flashcards or quizlets or making a mock test will help you be able to remember that information that you studied. Once you have started incorporating that study strategy, you're going to be able to figure out what parts of that test uh, you need to focus more on. Now they know what to do when you begin your test and when you start studying for your test. We're going to be finishing off today's video by talking about what to do right before your test. So this one's pretty obvious. Arrive earlier when you're taking a test. In addition to being able to focus yourself right before the test, you can also ask your instructor for those last minute questions that clarify details that will appear on your test. Listen carefully to those last minute instructions that your instructor gives you and on the off chance that you are late, don't be afraid to ask your instructor what you missed and what the details of the test will be. Once you see those first few questions, uh, realize that you can find cues within the questions themselves that will guide you to the right answer. So for example, if you um, have an English test and you are stuck in a multiple choice question, use the grammatical differences between the options to figure out what the right answer might be. So don't be afraid to use the resources within the test to find the correct answer. While looking for those cues that will point you in the right direction, go with your gut. The first answer that you see that stands out to you that you think is right is probably the right answer. So don't overanalyze and start confusing yourself to the point where you start marking the wrong answers for things. So go with your gut. As you're finishing up your test, don't forget to leave a little bit of time at the end uh, to review your answers. So for example, if you're required to fill out an essay, you can use that time to fix your spelling and grammatical errors. And if you're taking a math test, make sure each of your steps are clearly detailed so your professor or whoever's grading your test is going to be able to give you that partial credit where it's due. And if you're taking your multiple choice test, that time at the end will allow you to make sure that every question is answered because I know I forget to answer some of the questions. Sometimes I don't even realize there's a back side to the paper. So take that time to review and make sure that all your answers have been filled out. And next, if you are like me and you see the test and you immediately start forgetting information, this concept called memory dumping will really help you and it has helped me. So what I do is as soon as I receive the test, if it's a math test, for example, and I know that we're going to be, um, you know, heavily tested on the concept of circles, I'm going to write all my circle formulas down in the corner of my paper so I can remember them and it doesn't just like disappear from my brain while I'm taking the test. So memory dump all of those information. Um, they can be like formulas or historical dates for a history test onto your paper just so you know that it's there when you need it. The most important thing in this test taking and studying journey is to make sure that you are confident and you can be confident by preparing earlier and uh, to consistently be studying and incorporating the study techniques that we talked about today. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you learned something new and I will catch you in the next video.